Data Build Tool or DBT is an open source Python application for analytics engineering workflows. It uses SQL select statements to transform and model raw data that has already been loaded into a data warehouse. DBT covers the entire workflow right from transforming, testing, and then finally deploying the data for various analytics purposes. This video will demonstrate how DBT can be set up and used to transform data that is already loaded into BigQuery. We have sample sales data that has been loaded into a BigQuery project under the dataset Spring ML demo dataset and into the table sales. Now we can go ahead and set up DBT. DBT can be installed with an easy pip or conda install. Once DBT has been installed, we can now initialize a new project using dbt init and specify the name of the project Spring ML Demo DBT. This creates a configuration folder in .dbt where the profiles.yml file is located. This is how the profiles.yml file looks right now. We've created a profile named Spring ML with the target dev and have specified the data warehouse that we will be using. We have used the authentication method of OAuth in order to connect to our project specified in the next line. We also specify the data set as well as the location of that data. Once our project has been created, we can open it in a code editor like VS Code and view the files and directories initialized for us. We have dbt underscore project.yml that specifies more configurations like the profile, source paths, test paths, and other referencing needed during runtime. We now enter the models, which are SQL statements that will be applied to the data in our BigQuery table, creating new views and data models. Payments.sql creates a new view, counting the number of payments per payment type and the total price of each within the United States. Credit card.sql creates a view showing the number of credit card payments for each country based on the credit card type. We can see that dbt implements Jinja, which is a templating language that allows users to integrate programming methods that are not normally offered in SQL, like if statements and for loops and the usage of environmental variables for production development. Both our .sql files or our models specify a source which gives access to our BigQuery dataset. Schema.yml defines the schema of our source tables which is the sales table under Spring ML demo dataset and it also specifies the schema of the views that will be created once the models are run. Specified by the payments.sql and the credit cards model specified by the credit card.sql. We also see one kind of testing in dbt, which is the schema test. For example, this ensures that the values in the column country are unique and not null. Further testing can be done by creating our own SQL select statement that will reference the created view credit card. Here, we're testing to make sure that no countries have zero payments in all three credit cards. We now run the project using dbt run with the profile Spring ML as defined in the profiles.yml file. It seems to have completed successfully. We can now go check if these views have been created in BigQuery and we can see that they have. We can see that the data has been transformed as desired as well as the payments view. We can now run the test that we had defined earlier in order to make sure that our SQL transformations are running correctly and that our source and result data have the desired format. Once our tests have passed, we can generate documentation of the entire project and the associated warehouse by using the dbt docs command. We then serve the documentation using this command and it opens up on a clean and user-friendly interface with an overview of all our source tables and transformations in our project as well as a summary of our data warehouse. In the project, we can not only view our source tables, but also the data models we created, as well as the tests. We can even view a lineage graph 
that shows how our data models are layered one on top of the other. 